new tonight. <laughs> Members of the community gathering to hear the details of a plan to give Sunset Cliffs Natural Park a facelift. Our tenders reporter Bree Steffen heard the concerns and the fears of some of those residents and the surprising answer the project and manager had to calm them down. This project is in phase two and some people who live around here are upset that the trees are starting to come down. 52 years. If you let him, Mike White would spend hours telling you stories about growing up on Sunset Cliffs. I used to go over there and the little baby birds would fall out of the trees and then I'd say the baby birds and I'd take them back home and then we'd raise the baby birds and let them go. It's hard for him to see his eucalyptus trees being bulldozed. They're destroying where I grew up. They're destroying my playground. I don't. The project will improve trails and replace the non-native eucalyptus trees with native plants. An important project for another member of the community. Doug Ledsom is the project manager. He came to this meeting tonight to clear up any doubts. It's not just willy-nilly. We, you know, it's carefully done. We're only clearing areas that are designated to be replanted later. Doug and his wife have lived in the community for almost 30 years. He says it's hard to see the eucalyptus trees go for him too, but it will be better in the years to come. There's over 130 Tory pines will be planted. We are so pleased that you came tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's something that's near to my heart is working on the community here. The parking lot will remain closed for a while, but all the construction should be done by next year. Reporting at Sunset Cliffs, Bree Steffen, 10 News. And the project manager also says they have a biologist, a Native American expert, and a paleontologist on site at all times just to make sure they're not disturbing any artifacts or wildlife.